Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Planet Base in our Mars Colony 2 series. We just got a new biologist named Alicia Pace. That's good news. I don't have an issue with that at all. But things are going well. We're up to 30 colonists now. She's our 30th colonist. Very, very good. So she's going to get vegetables. She's going to help maintain everything back here. We're actually producing a lot of food. It's quite good. Uh, and we have three mines going as well. So we have five ore. We have two uh, metal processors that are going almost constantly. So we're, we're doing well, I think. One thing I want to go ahead and start doing is thinking about the entertainment of these nice people on Mars. So let's go ahead and build a multi-dome. A multi-dome requires two metal and two bioplastic. Let's see, it's going to be there. Power storage is critical, but solar panels are coming back online right now. Boom. Perfect. That was a last minute save. So it looks like we might still need to do a little bit of work on our power grid just to make sure that we have everything we need. Trading ship has landed. What have you got? GM tomato data. We're going to need to get that pretty soon. But for now, I kind of just want to sell things. Kind of just want to sell things, I'm saying. All right, let's... Oh, wait, that's a little bit too much. Perfect. All right, some additional money, always a good thing. With all the money we're building up, sooner or later we'll actually be able to get one of the patents. Patents are for the absolute largest power and other structures in the game. They're very, very nice. And it looks like we are almost ready to build our multi-dome as well. That's good. Remind me, is the security building... No, it is not a dead-end structure, so I could build something on the other end of it. That's good. This is our bar. This is our pub. <laughs> well, we will definitely have that in mind very soon. Before that, though, I want to think in terms of telescopes. Um, so I can know if a... Uh, like I want to build the telescope, and I want to build a meteor laser so that I can blow stuff up because that's fun and I enjoy fun things that meteor was see that's why I want to do it <laughs> way too close way too close all right perfect our multi-dome is ready to be constructed and our telescope will go up next to the connection and then we probably need to work on power a little bit more before we do anything more Got a nice strong breeze though. Doesn't seem to be eating away at any of our... Oh wow, we're actually gaining power. That's really, really nice. Not anymore though. Breeze is slowing down. Alright, our multi-dome has been built. We have a lot of things to do. I want... First of all, let's give people a bench. And a treadmill. And another water fountain. And a TV. And another bench. Is always good. Okay. So that's going to require a lot of components. We're going to need to produce a lot of bioplastic in order to get all that stuff built. But it gives people a place to come hang out and chill. Uh, without drinking alcohol, but... <laughs> but that still allows them to fix their unhappiness, which some of these people have been quite unhappy. So this is a big deal. Oh, some of these uh, pieces actually require metal. Didn't see that. So that's going to take away from the uh, telescope, unfortunately. But thankfully, we have lots of ore because of our three mines, so we are constantly able to produce more metal. Ooh. Saw that one coming. That was not, not good at all. New biologist, Elisio Kraus. Welcome to Mars Colony 2.
Doing some pull-ups. I like it. Some people are still unhappy. They haven't made their way back to the, uh, the new room yet. Do those pull-ups. Get happy. Get happy. You know you want it? Go for it. Do it. There you go. What's your name? What's your name? Roselle Lawson, our engineer. She's now happy again. Good for you, Roselle. <laughs> oh, our storage is almost full. We're going to need to fix that. We're going to need to fix that. Let's look into that right now, as a matter of fact. Because I don't... You don't want to be out of storage when we're starting to actually build up space for things. When we're actually starting to build up... Uh, what am I thinking? Just uh, supplies. Alright, so we're building a large storage room. So it's going to take a lot of metal to build. And we're still waiting to build the telescope as well. More colonists! We have 31 colonists now, and we're about to have more. Two more. Iris Holt, new medic. And C.H. Bowman, another engineer. Excellent. We're also going to need to build new quarters soon. Just more space for people to sleep. Tell you what, I want to. We've been getting a lot of new people in recently. I'm going to cut the floodgates real quick. Stop people from coming in. Because I mean, again, how many colonists do we have? Oh wait, I can just look here. Thirty-three. I'm happy with that. It's a good-looking little colony. And I don't want to spoil it by letting people in too quickly. So I'm going to try to avoid that. Yeah, we're really starting to build up ore faster than we can produce it, so we'll probably need to um, build another processing plant pretty soon. Hint, guard. Guards are responsible for maintaining the security on the colony. They can fight intruders. Ideally, they will be armed so they can do this more efficiently. They can operate the security console to detect intruders before they do too much damage. Guards come to the base unarmed. Fighting unarmed armed attackers without weapons is very close to suicide, so it's a good idea to get your guards some weapons. To do this, you need to either produce guns in the arms workshop or buy them from traders. When a gun is available, guards will pick it up and become armed. Cool! Well, we're not going to have visitors just yet, but that's good to know. Guards are fun to have. Mean visitors are not fun to have. Guards is something that I, I don't think I actually got to in the Mars Colony 1 series, so I wanted to make sure you guys saw that tooltip and kind of knew what was going on there. Yeah, we're very close to being completely full. We have a lot of money now, so we're, we're starting to get to a point where we can seriously consider buying neat things when trade ships arrive, like GM tomato data, genetically modified tomatoes. I mean, having, the, having those at this point could be very handy, but unfortunately he has a 45% commission, so we're not quite at a point where we can get those off of him yet. So what we'll do instead is continue to sell stuff for money. I think that's all I need to get rid of. Perfect. All right. A little bit more money. Power storage is low. Not for long. Not for long at all. Because here come the solar panels. Yeah, watch that slow down. <laughs> that's so satisfying. <laughs> Every single time. It's just great. 
All right, so this power collection is filling back up. We, we do need to address our power uh, situation. Um, we need store. We need more storage, and we need to build the telescope. But as soon as that step is up, we, we really need to build more power. More power collection. Probably a large turbine and a large... Uh, we need probably need all three. We need a large turbine, a large solar panel, and then a large um, power holder, power collector. Absolutely. One more metal over here at the storage unit, and then one more metal at the telescope. But the workers are on it. We definitely, you can see the ore building up outside the mines here. We have tons of the stuff. So we really, ideally, in order to be maximally efficient, we need, we, we will need another processing plant so that we can continue to produce stuff. I might just make another small one, though. Just some small processing plants. Just another two and two. Don't necessarily need a big one. We'll see, though. Structures are out of oxygen. What? Uh, what? I'm confused. I have support for 33 people. Why are you telling me that? Don't scare me like that. Jeez. Okay. Doing pretty well. But that was terrifying. Alright, so our new storage has just gone up. People are already filling it, which is great. Our telescope has gone up too. We have a medic working on poor Canon Cordova who got hurt evidently in the mines. Now he's hungry. <laughs> he's gonna go eat. Gonna get some gonna get some chow. One thing that's cool is we haven't run out of spares yet, knock on wood, in the uh, entire series. Spares can be hugely problematic when you run out of them because then you lose the ability to maintain your power production and then you're screwed. <laughs> it's a very quick way to realize that you're, you're in big trouble. All right, so let's bring out some starch, some medicinal plants. Some vitro meat. Just try to sell as much as I can. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong screen. All right. Can probably just do that. Yep. Cool. More money. Bring it. All right, so now that I have this telescope... It's not being operated from the command center. That's right. I need to build a uh, telescope console. That's right. So people are gonna. This is this is slightly frustrating. Is that it takes so long for people when when you're selling a lot of stuff. Everyone just goes to work trying to bring everything out to the trade ship so you can see that we're still waiting on a number of resources and when that happens the whole base shuts down okay cool telescope is functioning now disaster prediction chance 40 percent wonder why just 40 Also, I noticed it says medium telescope. No, I don't want to recycle it. Oh, you can build a large telescope. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. But what about... Wait a minute. Can't build a large laser. But I need semiconductors to build a laser. And that's going to be an important thing. So let's go ahead and set up some semicon semiconductor factories. Right here. But I also need to think about power.
Hmm. All right. So I'm going to build a big turbine and a big power collector. And we'll maybe do another solar panel sometime soon-ish. But that's not huge on my priority list. I know I went quiet. I'm just pondering my next move. It's getting to that point where it's a little calmer. I mean, I really need to focus on having a laser ready to go. But I might also be able to buy something pretty cool soon. Ooh, semiconductors. I'll need two of those for the... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy a semiconductor. Buy a couple of semi semiconductors, rather. That way I can have the laser queued up and ready to go. Ooh, power storage is low. This is bad. Ooh, this is really bad. Wind's going away. No, 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 come back. Come back, wind. Please come back. Please, 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 please. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A bit please what did I do to you what what did I do to you seriously this isn't fair all right at least the solar panels are gonna come online any second so we're gonna have a brief brief power outage right now but now the power is gonna come back online so this is why I need to build these new structures immediately you guys also need to bring those semiconductors in. Thank you. Who are you? You're a medic. All these helpful medics, they're... <laughs> it's not even their job, but they're carrying stuff in. Myrna Silva is just awesome. She's getting stuff done. All right, semiconductor foundry's been built. Very good. Now we're plowing along, waiting for some additional power. I think I'm going to signal for a few more colonists because I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Need two more pieces of metal for the wind turbine for the wind turbine to be ready, and then as soon as this new stuff goes online, I will be able to build a laser because I have the semiconductors I need for the laser. The laser will help protect us from any meteors. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Making some meat and some medical supplies. I like it. Medic's actually doing their job, what they're supposed to do, rather than doing all the other jobs around the base because everyone else is lazy. Okay, we're completely out of wind. Not a good way to start the night. See what happens to our power collectors when we completely run out of wind. Oh wait! Oh, that's awesome timing. So now we're now the wind turbine is ready, and we have new colonists arriving. Who's here? New worker, Amal Suarez. Was it? yeah, Amal Suarez. All right, so we are about to get a new turbine, largest turbine in the game. The engineer is on his slash her way out. And the wind is picking back up just in time. Awesome. Now we're just waiting on the same amount of resources for the new power collector. New trading ship. More semiconductors. Don't need them this time. So let's maybe sell some stuff to get back the value of some things that we lost.
or rather what I meant to say was, um, wait, no. There we go. Let's sell some stuff to make up what we spent on the um, semiconductors. And while they're getting that stuff ready, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. As a matter of fact, we'll continue to prepare to build our laser and maybe think about that pub in the next episode of Mars Colony 2. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And comments are always welcome. I upload new episodes of Planet Base Mars Colony 2 every day at 6 p.m. If not Planet Base, then something else in a sci-fi survival type of... Um, also simulation, really, type of vein, so... It's the kind of stuff I like for this time slot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.